I have found a loadout in Vigor that is insanely consistent, has really good range and is also great for close range fight. This loadout is amazing for new players and also experienced players so it's definitely a good loadout to try. The loadout is as follows. The main weapon is the VZ-52 rifle. The main reason this is one of the best weapons in the game is because it kills opponents in just two shots to the body and obviously one shot to the head. It also has amazing range and pretty much can act as a long range sniper, a normal rifle and a close range weapon. The weapon holds 10 rounds so you're sure to hit at least two of those shots when you're in a fight. In my personal experience this has a really good record of winning fights close range and also long range acting as a sniper because it does that two shot body without any drop off. It's definitely one of the most consistent weapons of the game and what's best is that it isn't actually very rare, it's only a green weapon and you can get plans from just the crafting level 4 so that is pretty easy to get. The secondary weapon in this loadout is the PM63 rack. The reason this gun is so good and the best secondary in Vigor is because of how it can be a great thing to switch to with the fire rate being good but the ammo and the weapon itself is quite common, meaning that this is the best Vigor loadout for beginners. The reason I picked this secondary rather than an SMG is because this is a pistol and most people are used to pistols especially when you're just starting a game. Another reason is that you can pretty much find these anywhere across the Outlands or craft them with a plan found in common crate. This is not a rare weapon and you can find it pretty much anywhere and I must admit there is a lot of recoil on this weapon but it helps you get used to how to control recoil so that helps with using guns like the AK or the other rifles. For health and consumables I recommend bringing one bandage and one antibiotics into the Outlands because those tend to be all you need. If you get into a bad fight and you need to quickly heal up you can use the bandage to regain half of the lost health and then heal the remaining with the antibiotics. But it also means that if you die without reaching an exit you do not lose all of your health and consumable items. That means that it's pretty safe so you don't need to purchase the insurance for 60 crowns and you can also just save all your medical items in your shelter. The reason I love this combo of the bandages and the antibiotics is because it pretty much takes you up to full health with just two consumable items rather than using multiple. It's definitely a great combination and one of the best in the game in my opinion. In terms of explosives and traps I do not normally bring any into the game but if you have a few inside of your shelter you can bring a proximity bomb into the outlet. It's the perfect thing to place near exits or near the safes although that can be very annoying for the player on the receiving end. You can also bring in some kind of distraction like fireworks that makes noise to lure your opponents away or towards you so just in case that you need to escape you can use those. If you're in a spot that's near the crate you can lure them towards the crate thinking that there's gunshots and everyone's distracted and you can kill them quickly. The other traps are definitely cool but I think the proximity bomb and the fireworks are definitely the best in the game. However my one tip for beginners or even experienced players using this loadout is to go into the shooting range and learn how to use these weapons well. That is my single biggest tip for any new Vigor players. You just have to go and learn how to use the weapons well especially with the amount of recoil in this game and you will soon get better at Vigor and start seeing results with your aim and your actual like, game knowledge. I'm going to play some more gameplay after this but that was the best Vigor loadout for beginners and really all players. I would like to thank you all for the growth on this channel, it has been crazy to see. We're at nearly 100 subscribers in just 2 weeks and on one of my videos I got nearly 150 likes which is really cool to see, especially that I've only uploaded around 3 or 4 videos. So yeah, thank you all for that and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Collecting the airdrop is rewarding. Be cautious, other outlanders may be there.